Hey, glad to see you guys back here on Tech of Tomorrow. I'm Elric, your host. We've got some exciting stuff going on today. So what do we got going on today? Well, you guys all know that AMD has finally released their official version of the HD 7990. And that said, it was geared to be the fastest card in the world. That's what they've been claiming. Well, we're here to set those claims to right. And we're going to show you a total bunch of benchmarks and stuff regarding the HD 7990 versus the top of the line card from NVIDIA, their GT. GTX GeForce 690. Now, both of these cards feature dual GPU technology on one piece of silicon, and they're both considered the top of the line card from both companies. So with that said, let's jump in, let's check out some comparisons and see who at the end of the day, who really is the king of the fracking ring. So let's start off folks with the GPU code name. Now the HD 7990 is the Malta. It's based on the 20 nanometer process and the GTX 690 is based on the GK 104. Also again on the 28 nanometer process. Now let's talk about core clocks. The HD 7990 has a core clock of 1000 megahertz. The GTX 690 has a core clock of 950 megahertz, but it boosts to 1020 megahertz in its boost technology. Now let's move on to memory clocks. The HD 7990 has a 1500 megahertz memory clock. The GTX 690 has 1502 megahertz. A slight little bump there, two megahertz. The HD 7990 has 4096 stream processors. The GTX 690 has 3072 CUDA cores. Now, a lot of people ask this question over and over and over again. I'm gonna tell you straight up that I'm not the super most technical genius in the world, but I can tell you this. CUDA cores and stream processors are essentially the same type of things. But basically, CUDA cores are geared a lot more to run Adobe type programs. So if you're running things like Photoshop and stuff like that, the CUDA cores are gonna work better. Now, anything with OpenCL on the other hand though, you're gonna get better performance off the stream processor. So they are essentially the same thing, just with some slight differences in the background architecture and how they work. Now let's talk about the memory interface. Now you have to remember that these cards are both like having a Crossfire card or an SLI card on a single piece of silicone, so they're both times two. Now, the HD 7990, it has a 384-bit times two interface, and the GTX 690 has a 256 bit times two memory interface. Now the HD 7990, it has a memory bandwidth of 288 gigabytes per second times two. The GTX 690 on their hand has 192.3 gigabytes per second times two. Now I wanna just mention something right off the bat. A lot of people talk about micro stuttering and all that kind of stuff. And you know that if you take, you know, just two, two gigabyte cards and you slap them in a system, you're not accessing the total four gigabytes of available memory. But with these two cards, you get the maximum amount of memory and you get to access it all. So the GTX 690, it has two gigabytes of GDR5 memory times two, but you can access all of that at the same time, which is one of the more superior things about the designs of both the 7990 and the GTX 690. Now, now the HD 7990, it has three gigabytes of GDR5 memory times two for a total available memory of six gigabytes. Now let's talk about TDP and the difference between the GTX 690 and the HD 7990. Now the HD 7990, it requires 375 watts, where the GTX 690 only requires 300. So hats off to the GTX, they win this particular category. Now that we've compared the cards spec to spec, let's jump in and let's check out the benchmarks and see how the cards do in gaming.
So you guys have seen it. We've given you specs head to head, and now we've given you performance head to head. Now, you guys can see that the HD 7990 wins out in almost every test across the board. There are a few that are different, and we'll get to that. One thing we want to take note of though, anything with OpenCL performance, the HD 7990 just totally smokes and kicks ass. Now there are a few places where the GTX 690 actually wins. In the Heaven benchmark, they win there. That's very direct X11 heavy. Also in Batman, which is a game geared, you know, for NVIDIA, it actually shows better scores in that as well. But overall, you guys can see that the HD 7990 is actually a faster card. And one thing that's kind of noteworthy is that the card actually does run a little bit cooler, which is kind of strange. You guys saw previously that the TDP value was less on the GTX 690. But in real world heating, we see the GTX 690 is about three degrees hotter than the 7990 running all the same tests in the same type of environment. So you guys all know that these cards are both very, very fracking expensive and the differences between the two aren't that significant. Yeah, of course, the HD 7990 wins in a few things and well, it really should. NVIDIA kind of kicked back on their laurels and they reached out into different divisions of technology and kind of, kind of just really sat back and waited to see what AMD has done. Well, okay, AMD has come back to the table now and they have the faster card. But the thing is, you know as well as I do, if you're an NVIDIA fan, damn, you're going to be going out and buying yourself an HD 7990. You're not going to give a shit if it has a few screens more per this. That's not even going to matter to you. But if you're just somebody who doesn't care at all about who makes the card, you have no fan attachment whatsoever, then you can see the 7990 might be a really good choice for you. You just got to really take into consideration how much are advanced physics important to you? How much is it? Because you're not going to get advanced physics using the HD 7990. Yes, you can install the driver. Now, there's another thing that gets touchy. A lot of people still think that you cannot use physics on an AMD card. Well, that's entirely not true. What you do is you just go install the driver off the NVIDIA side and you run it off of your CPU, not your GPU. That's the only real difference. So if you're somebody though and you think, hey, advanced physics is my cup of tea, then you're really going to want to be looking heavier at the GTX 690. Now, before we wrap this up, all the information will be down there below the like button, which I know you'll hit since you're there. And we also have something really cool for you guys as well. I've got this set of Flux in-ear headphones over here from the people over at SteelSeries. And we're going to be giving this away to one lucky person. Now, how do you got to do that? Well, all you got to do is share this video right down there once again by that like button, which I know you're going to be hitting, and you'll get a chance to win these headphones. And lastly, let me just hear your guys' opinions. If you guys had all the money in the world and it didn't matter which card you guys would prefer to buy and why, try to keep it simple and please, guys, keep the fanboy comments out of there. Just leave me a comment that says, oh, NVIDIA wins by default. AMD wins by default. That's kind of really a bullshit quick attitude out. Take the time to actually think about it. If you had the money and you could buy whatever you wanted, what would you buy and why? I'll pick a random winner out of there and kick them down a swag pack just for being involved with it. So I'm Elric. This is Buddy the Dog. We're going to head to the park and go do our, you know, dog thing. And uh, I'll see you guys back here on Tech of Tomorrow, where if you're not subscribed, you're missing out.